Hey yo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions, back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. Today we're looking at the Battle Katai Roadblock from the G.I. Joe Retaliation line. And that's just where we're stopping, because we're actually not looking at Roadblock at all. I've actually got something a little bit different here for y'all today. We'll start throwing things out here, and y'all tell me if things start making sense, or if you can guess what we're doing. Dun dun dun! dun. We've actually got a. Uh, custom kit bash to create our own Sergeant Slaughter figure. Uh, so I actually picked up this kit from um, a guy on eBay and I forget his name but I will uh, find it and drop it in the comment section down below. But basically is he has taken and created all these awesome accessories and scaled them for three and three quarter inch or uh, four inch modern G.I. Joe use. So utilizing the main body of Roadblock from the retaliation line. We're going to pop his head off. Stick our custom Sergeant Slaughter head on here. And voila, it's uh, pretty much that simple. We've now got an awesome Sergeant Slaughter figure for the new 25th anniversary line. But the guy didn't stop there. He also added ah, an additional hand so you don't got to worry about this crazy one here. Luckily all these things just peg into place. And just in case you want to keep them the same, he actually comes with two hands. Plop, plop. <laughs> that's pretty straightforward, pretty awesome. Uh, but that's not the only accessories we have, as you can see. We also have the uh, Sarge's baton. We've got his whistle. Though we have to pop his head back off for that one. The drill instructor's whistle. And his Marine Corps hat. And there you have it. Custom... 25th anniversary Sergeant Slaughter figure. Pretty awesome indeed. We also have this cool duffel bag here. Sling it over his shoulder and he's ready to go. Uh, this thing, this kit also came with uh, this cool belt. Um, but I don't really know how the belt goes on there. I guess you can fit it over his feet like so. It's kind of bendy and stretchy so we'll see if we can... Uh, get it to go all the way up here but uh i think you're supposed to pop some other stuff off to do this and i honestly didn't feel like doing that so we'll just see if we can get it to go up over from the bottom without breaking anything Anyways, it's a cool idea. Um, I know the uh, convention released a uh, a new version of Sergeant Slaughter in the 25th anniversary line as part of the uh, convention a couple of years ago. I don't remember which one it was now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> there we go. Actually worked pretty well. But unfortunately, that figure uh, doesn't fit well with um, a lot of the newer style figures. Uh, proportion rise it just looks a little odd 
Uh, so this one, luckily enough, works out perfectly for a more proportionate Sergeant Slaughter, at least in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, this is a, a really awesome figure, and again, a great idea. They did a really good job, and it just works really well. So um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I think the kit itself usually runs about twenty five bucks. Uh, that's if you already have the roadblock figure. If you don't have the roadblock figure, you can get the entire thing as a complete kit for like forty five or something like that. So. Um, I'll drop again drop the link in below <clears throat> he's also got a um, a slaughters marauders version of this where he's repainted it with the uh, blue and green colors of slaughters marauders which is actually pretty awesome and I'm really anxious to pick that one up I just haven't yet and I think he's also got a desert camo version of this uh, so yeah it's Cool. I need to find that stupid link though, because I don't remember who, who the guy was. Uh, Ziggler or Zing Lane or something to that effect. And again, I apologize out there if I got way off on it, but again, I'll put the link in the comment section down below so y'all can go out there and take a look at them himself. Uh, it's really an awesome thing. Looks so much better than the uh, version that we got from the uh, convention. So yeah, this is a Sergeant Slaughter you won't have any qualms whatsoever about putting in your collection, to be honest with you. So I recommend y'all go pick one up. That's pretty much it for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think about this Sergeant Slaughter kit bash figure. Let us know what you'd like to see in future episodes. Until next time, yo Joe.